Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. Uh, today I'm going to be working on my walking stick. If you saw one of my videos about three weeks ago, I took and skinned the bark off of this stick. I like the way the wood is looking. And I think I measured it, it's just uh, about five and a half foot long. So I'm going to get started on it, it's completely dried out now. So I'm going to start sanding it down a little bit. This end up here is the uh, narrow end. So I'm going to let this be the bottom of the stick. So what I think I'm going to do, if I can turn it where you can see it. Uh, it's got a bad, it's got a nice pretty curve in it right here. But I'm going to cut it off about right there. And let this be the bottom of the stick and then this end up here will be the top end of the stick and I think that'll end up making me a better walking stick so first thing I'm gonna do is cut I'm gonna cut this off and then get started sanding so let me get started and I'll bring you back and show you little clips of what I'm doing Okay, so I cut the end off of it. Now I'm going to get started sanding. I'll save this little end. It might come in handy for something. Okay. Uh, just to get started, I'm going to use a sanding block. And hope you better see that. But I'm just going to do some sanding on it to knock off some of the rough edges. I'm going to see how this works. If this don't work good, then I'm going to get my, uh, I got a power sander I'll use. Okay, this is my electric sander, and uh, I'm going to try it a little bit. Uh, it seems like it's going to work better than trying to sand it by hand. Okay, let me, uh, let me dust it off, and then I'm going to put some stain on it. Okay, if you can see it, I've got it stained and wiped down. I'm going to let it sit in here and dry for a little while. Okay, my walking stick has dried and I've got it sanded down and I put one coat of stain on it and the stain has dried. Uh, it's supposed to dry for eight hours. It has not been quite eight hours, but it is good and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first coat of uh, urethane on it uh, right now. I've got it hanging uh, off my rafter up here.
so that once I get through putting the urethane on it, uh, I won't have to worry about it laying down somewhere and none of the sides will be touching. I'm just going to put the first coat on very lightly and let it dry real good. Uh, then tomorrow I'll come back and put another coat on. That got the first coat of uh, urethane on it. I'll let it hang here and dry. Okay, it's the next morning, and the first coat of uh, polyurethane has dried on it. It looks real good. Get a little closer to the camera so you can see it. It looks good, but the texture feels a little rough to my fingers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some 220 sandpaper, and I'm going to run over it one more time with some 220 sandpaper and smooth it out a little bit before I put the second coat of poly on it. So that's what I'll be working on today. Okay, I just did this little small area right here and that really feels smooth now. Compared to this, this still has a rough texture. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and sand the entire stick with this uh, 220 paper. Okay, that only took about, maybe about three or four minutes to run over that and sand it real quick. But now it's real smooth, so I'll just dust it off real good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my second coat of poly on it. Okay, this is my second coat a polyurethane that I'm putting on now. I'll put it on just a little bit heavier than I did the first coat. Okay, I've got the second coat of poly on now and it looks real nice. I'm going to wait till late this afternoon, probably about 7.30, and I'll come out here and check it after it dries. And if it feels smooth, I believe two coats will be enough. If not, I'll sand it lightly and put a third coat on. But for right now, I think two coats is probably going to do it. Okay, there's my walking stick. It has dried and it feels real good, nice and smooth. So I'm going to say it's done. I've got two coats of polyurethane on it. I don't remember if I mentioned this when I first started the video, but uh, this is my first walking stick that I've ever made before. And so uh, I just found this tree out in the backyard and I thought it looked like it'd make a good walking stick. So I went through the experience. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I'll probably hunt another tree and do another one at some time in the future. But thanks everyone for watching this video and have a blessed day. Thanks everyone for watching our channel. We certainly do appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you will, please uh, leave comments and hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks everyone and have a blessed day.